When it's cloudy, I don't see you. When it's dark, I lose your spark. And I don't have another. Around the time when we went to Bali, Ali met a lovely gentleman by the name of Darren, and he treated her so beautifully and lovely. But in, of course, in true Ali style, I would get phone calls and text messages and conversations. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, you know. Oh, he's nice, but oh, I don't know. Oh, but thankfully, she persisted, and with a lot of persuasion, um, she, yeah, she. We're here today to celebrate their beautiful day. I'll just give you a quick little rundown of growing up with Darren. He's a very loyal person, something that I think all of you guys know about my brother. It doesn't matter what you've done or who you are, he sees you for what you are um, to him. And I think that's a really important trait to have uh, as a person. So he's been a fantastic part of my life. He's fantastic for my kids. He's a great uncle. I just want to say how proud I am as a brother and how honoured I am to, to be standing here today. So everyone charge their glasses to Mr and Mrs Anderson. chance that it was the fireball towers that lit up the evening sky that night, but I maintain it was definitely the first kiss fireworks. Three years ago, Darren's Facebook friends welcomed the new year with an exciting status update from Darren. The post read, she said yes, only to be followed by the words, to another wine. <laughs> During the courtship, Ali got the impression that Darren was going to propose. To Ali's surprise, Darren purchased a pair of goalies gloves and informed her that she was a keeper. So much in my Darren has helped Ali overcome her crippling fear of roller coasters with what is clinically known as immersion therapy. For anyone that isn't sure, Darren is not a qualified therapist. He merely lured her into the line for the fastest, scariest rides at Disneyland without her knowledge and then nudged her into the deep end. Ali has converted Darren into someone that now drinks red wine and eats vegetables. <laughs> Darren thinks Ali is perfect. However, if he were forced to choose a pet peeve or two, he might say that Ali has a tendency to occupy three quarters of their king size bed. She is a tiny little bit OCD when it comes to leaving the house and she always cooks salmon, which leaves a very recognisable scent. <laughs> Ali thinks Darren is perfect. However, if she were forced to choose a pet peeve or two, she might say that Darren refuses to use the exfoliant and moisturiser that she buys for him. <laughs> he bites his fingernails constantly, and he consistently complains about the smell of cooked salmon. <laughs> Number nine. Ali will always be first to bed. This is not to ensure that she gets her eight hours, it's to avoid switching off the lights and closing the blinds. Number 10, Darren cannot watch TV without holding the remote control. Number 11, Ali believes Darren is a perfectionist, although she thinks he may be a touch indecisive at times. Number 12, Darren believes Ali is also a perfectionist, and if he wasn't so indecisive, he'd have decided that Ali is a touch indecisive at times. <laughs> so 
second part of the introduction is a little story about the couple. I'm sorry about the crackling, but we're just going to have to soldier on. This story is called The Proposal. Darren had made the decision to propose to Ali on their 2017 trip to the US. So he purchased a ring and prepared as best he could for the opportunity to arise for him to ask for Ali's hand in marriage. The couple took off on the adventure of a lifetime, Darren with multiple agendas moving at dizzying speeds through his mind. First objective was to keep the ring out of sight until the moment was right. So he hid the ring in his luggage. Easy peasy. Before long, Ali was asking questions. Why do you lock your suitcase every time you leave the hotel room, Darren? Being the quick thinker that he is, he said, can't trust these hotel staff, and quickly sidestepped the topic. As the trip progressed, so did Darren's proposal ideas. The Grand Canyon, Central Park, New York, and the Golden Gate Bridge were all proposal sites that came and went due to the time never being quite right. After many close encounters and almost, the trip was coming to an end and still no proposal. It was their last night and Darren and Ali found themselves in Hawaii. This was it. Time to make it happen. So Darren played out his most romantic proposal options in his head. He decided the backdrop would be the beautiful lights at Diamond Head. He mustered up all his courage and harnessed all the excitement of the biggest moment of his life to date. Hey, let's go down to the beach and check out the lights at Diamond Head, Darren asked. As if to rip, the, as if to rip Darren's imaginary script to pieces, Ali said, how about you go down, and if it's any good, let me know. <laughs> Darren, not being the type to give up, managed to convince Ali to come down to the beach with him. He waited for the right time and proposed. Now, for those of you who appreciate a feel-good story and want to know how it ends, she said yes. <laughs> Ali, four years ago you walked into my life and it didn't take long for me to realise that you were someone special. As our relationship developed, you helped open up a side to me which I'd closed many years before. You have introduced me to new things, some good, some not so good, like The Bachelor. <laughs> However, you have always embraced my passions and allowed me to be myself. Because of you, I laugh and I smile. I promise to be your lover, companion and friend. I'll always be honest with you, kind, patient and forgiving. I promise to be there when you need me, to fill your days with happiness, to comfort and encourage you, and to love you with all my heart. I promise not to get disappointed when Melbourne lose. But when, not if, they win the flag, I promise I will make it home within 24 hours. <laughs> Ali, you are my best friend, my confidant, and my rock. But most importantly, you are the love of my life. You make me happier than I could ever imagine, and more love than I could ever th think possible. You have made me a better person, and I am truly blessed to have you part of my life, which is of today becomes our life together. I love you. Since we first met, you have always made me feel special, and I knew you were some, someone to hold on to. You organised creative dates, sent me flowers, conversation flowed, and we had so much fun together. Today we joined together in marriage, and I believe that there is no one more perfect for me than you. You bring out the best in me, and I am the happiest that I have ever been. You show me unconditional love and acceptance, are patient with my indecisiveness, offer words of wisdom in tough times, and help me not to sweat on the small stuff. You are my reliable rock, you are my best friend, my true love. In front of family and friends gathered here today, I promise to continue to let continue letting you win at mini golf, allow you to buy ice cream when it's on sale, to never give up trying to get you to watch chick flicks, and to research our travel and restaurant itinerary before we arriving at any destination. But most importantly, I promise to be true to you, to encourage you, to support you, laugh with you, and comfort you throughout our journey together. 
I am so happy to be sharing our lives together.